speed, worthy speed. Run, 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 run. run. What should you be? On the f ball. Let's go. It's not second Let's down. It wasn't first and goal from the 20. It's second down now. This is second down. I clocked it. Now it's third. Wake up. Third down. He clocked it. My fault. I got to wake up. I apologize. I screwed. Tell me to go screw myself. Uh, You're right. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all made mistakes. Push up. Wake up. Go. <laughs> I screwed up. I'm not around. did some good things in the game, but you got to keep it going. Now. It's a big week for you, okay? okay. All right? Yes, sir. Keep coming. Keep coming. Right? Yes, sir. So I'm just going around to certain guys and telling them it's a big week. Lonnie, Kari, Charles James. Now you keep coming this week. Outside because your help's going to be outside. Same thing. You can and all, all the different roles, special teams. Go. Offensive reaction to that. Okay. Is it? Good, good, Josh. Good, good, good. What do you think about Charles Jones? Special teams, different oh, yeah. roles. I mean, that running back, I mean, it wasn't perfect, but, like, that was pretty good. Away from the guy with an angle. In a few days, the roster will be cut from 75 to a final 53. Everyone is looking for inspiration. All right, guys, we got a really uh, special Ooh, guest here today. Ooh. She's a world champion women's soccer That's player. Carly Lloyd. Thanks, Carly. Ooh. Ooh. Words a lot bigger Excuse in person me. than. Yeah. Yes. Don't be intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> For me, being at the World Cup, we had a lot of doubters in the beginning, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And uh, it was just an incredible run, and I wish you guys all the best. Thanks for having me out. All right. yeah. So I think uh, uh, since you're here, yeah. since you're here, I think we have a little competition for you. So how about uh, how about Vince, Mr. Wilfork? Are you loose, Vince? Yeah, hey, I'm always loose. All right, here we go. Front row and two. You going first? Ladies first. <laughs> pressure, pressure. Ready? <laughs> Say what's up. Hey, Carly, I'm a big fan. No, oh, me. I'm hey, a big hop. fan. DeAndre Hopkins. Ah, too late. Too late. Yeah, yeah. But what, what are y'all doing now? Like, uh, we've got one more game with the Houston team bye, here. Bye, bye Carly. In Chicago. And then uh, take care. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
pretty obvious that Vince Wilfork's first training camp as a Texan has been a kick. Not so for rookie defensive lineman Christian Covington, number 95, who's just hoping he doesn't get the boot. I just feel like I've been playing a little tentative when it came to me. Yeah. You got it in you. Yeah. Like a lose. Yeah. What do you got to lose? Right? Nothing. Nothing. Every single day, just go out there and be you. Play you. You're a great player. Just let it fly. Yeah, just appreciate you, man. Good. Appreciate you. Just appreciate you. Confident. So, I got your back. Appreciate you. Covington, number 95. He got knocked back. He got pushed back. It happened too many times. He'll come in this week, and you'll coach him on those things, and he'll oh, yeah. really work to get better. He'll really put his nose to the grindstone and try to get better there. Yeah. Luckily, Covington has the tools to make the team. And, of course, he can read the writing on the wall. You just try to, like, find the simple things to take your mind off football. I'm a fan of like all the, all books, really. For me, it's, it's more of a, it's just a re recreational thing. I never really liked reading my textbooks in college. I just liked all my just my leisure time with reading. All right, look, this is a big week. All right, this is a big week. So today is a lot about the corrections from the game. Then we'll watch the film this afternoon and tonight. Okay, let's get this right. First up the field. Set. Go. <laughs> Let's go to work, boys! Let's go to work! Just go to the ball! No! Oh, what are we doing? Let's go! Go, go, go! Let's go! Now you gotta get a good start now. Ball, ball, ball! Every time, every time, every time. Ball, ball, ball! Every time, every time, every time. Does anybody have any rhythm? Hey, let's go. Let's take some pride in this now. Tempo, good tempo. Don't dance. I chop, I swing. Tempo, good tempo. Here, here. here. Tempo, good tempo. Chop, swing. Here, back. You gotta get going. Tempo, good tempo. Woo! Finish it. That's beautiful. Nice and clean there. Elbows tight. Look it into the catch. Out of baby. It's a place for everybody. I may not be here, yours may not be here, but it's a place for everybody. You good enough. You both good enough. You put it on tape. That chips fall with it may you feel. That's all you can I can't worry about. You know you ain't got no control over it, man. The thing you can't control is you like you said. Yeah. Out of here, man. When I got cut going into my second year, it took a lot out of me. Um, you know, I stopped eating at one point. Uh, you know, I cried. You know, I, I mean, just because I love the game, man, like, you know, it's my life. It's that time of the year again where, you know, it gets close to training camp ending and you just kind of wonder, you know, how is it going to pan out? Hopefully I'm here to stay. But if not, I won't be mad at myself if I gave it my all and I get let go. You're in a locker room, you have relationships with all those guys, but at the end of the day, you're competing for, you know, a spot. You look at guys next to you left and right, and they don't say it, but everybody kind of knows that something's coming. Like, if I mess up, then it might be the end of the world. At this point in time, it's a nervous wreck. You know, you're here one day and you're not here the next day. We do understand that there is an urgency to, you know, go out there and perform because this is the most unstable job that you could possibly have. Everybody in this league, you know, they're playing this game because of the fact that they love this game. But sometimes your pure love of the game isn't going to be enough. You come to work and you don't see certain people, teammates leaving or vanishing or the Reaper or whatever they may call it. It's intense, man, and that's when reality sets in. They got to get it down from 75 to 53, so it's going to be moving real fast these next couple days. Hey, simple concept today, right? Let's go. Finish. Every rep you're in there, you finish. Right or wrong, good or bad, finish the rep. Okay? And see how that goes, okay? I know you like Courtney Brown, 
for the immediate. This is what I right. yeah. I, I agree that for the immediate and I, and I and let me tell you, the jury's still out for me. I think we've seen the best of Courtney Brown. Mm-hmm. Of course no we'll question. see tomorrow. Yes. The scouts, they're split down the middle. Yeah, Courtney Brown's yeah. gotta go and do something again in this game yeah. to make that worth the risk. Worth the risk. Translation, is he worth a roster spot? Receiver E.Z. Wachiku has been cut by the Texans each of the past two seasons. He knows that this week, every snap, every route, every move matters. It's the worst feeling when you have a bad practice, like in the beginning of practice, and then, like, that's all the balls you're going to get. So, like, you know what I mean? There's just not enough camp left to overcome a bad practice. Free agent Charles James, number 31, the man in the stylish socks, feels the pressure too. Let's go. Ah, I gotta make that play. We've talked to you guys over and over about competition. I've, we've told you that within this roster, you're going to have to earn your job every single week in how you prepare, how you perform, play your ass off for your future in this organization, okay, and for opportunities outside of this organization. Put good on tape, and good things will end up happening for you. I promise you. To play in the season opener, rookie Lyndon Trail will have to make the team. And right now, it doesn't even look like he'll make the last preseason game. Lyndon Trail looks like he has an acute quad tendon strain. So I would tell you he's probably very iffy he's for Thursday very, night. very iffy for Thursday. Trail, I hope you get healthy. We need to get back. Okay, I'm telling you, you need to do everything in your power to get back in there and be out there on Thursday to help us win a game. Okay? You got to take care of your body. Be Matt, we need you back. We need everybody back. Whatever we got to do to start getting in the training room, stealing hours in there, that's what we have to do. Because nothing more important than winning. You got him, Kush? Yeah. Kush, nasty. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Meow. On three. One, two, three. Meow. <laughs> go. Go get in the treatment room. Mm. Well, good evening, beautiful. Okay, you too. <laughs> you miss me, man? Yes, I do. Better. You ain't got no choice. Where'd Jay go? Right here. So me and mommy trying to figure out what you're trying to do. Do you want to do jazz or tap? What are you doing, jazz? Uh, I think there's a lot of swing dancing going on. How are you supposed to know what they're going to do in jazz? (laughs) Go ahead, say the prayer. Our Father, what art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Please, not in temptation, but those from evil, for now, so give them the power of God forever. Amen. Amen. The trainers were right. Trail's quad hasn't healed in time. He won't even travel to the last preseason game in Dallas. Welcome to the fourth preseason game. Jobs will be won and lost tonight. Bill Bryant said the other day, up to 10 spots still open and available. How you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. So um, we're going to play a lot of young guys tonight, so I don't know (laughs) if you're not going to see any of our guys. I don't know if the numbers are going to allow him to make this team, but he is beloved by his teammates. I was sitting there talking to my mama yesterday. Telling her where, where I was last year and where I was this year, like where I'm at this year, no matter e- either way it goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, light years away from where I was last year. You're going to be fine, brother. Trust me, you're going to be fine. That's how I feel right now, bro. Hunger Games. Huh? That's how I feel Hunger Games, bro. Hunger Games. It's our last 
preseason game. Yeah. We got a ball. We got to stay together. Yeah. Hey, this group may not be the same when we lead this, but we all brothers tonight, baby. I love all y'all boys, baby. Hey, Texas on three. One, two, three. Texas. Let's go, KB. Let's go, baby. Do what you do, baby. Hey, we say, KB. What's up, baby? Put it in, Here's Courtney Brown's training camp in a nutshell. Two steps up, four steps back. Courtney, you're... Somebody tell him he's only on in sub right now. Courtney! Courtney, get off the field! Courtney! Courtney! You're on in sub, Courtney! Why the f*** are you down there? You should be right here! Right here with the subs! Come on, wake the f*** up! For someone who's been cut six times before, Brown isn't doing himself any favors. Somebody's got to go for Courtney. He's playing. Hey, I need a. I, somebody's got to go for Courtney Brown. Of course, he's tired. You better get some water and play the whole damn game. Courtney, you're going to play the whole game. You can't get tired. You can't. That's how this deal works. Time to figure things out. And it looks as though the bookworm Christian Covington has. Number 95 plays as if he's been reading the Cowboys playbook. The rookie out of Rice has made some plays tonight, Spencer, and another one there for Christian Covington. Oh, Fourth and one. It looks like it's a little bit shorter than one. The Cowboys are going to go. Johnson's wrapped up in the backfield. Christian Covington denies. A backfield blast by rookie Christian Covington. He nice fights off the block of John Wetzel and is right there to make the tackle on Gus Johnson. Texans get it back on down. Christian! Nice play, son. Hey, you see how much fun everybody's having? It's time, then don't tap out. We don't have enough guys to tap out. Okay? They all need you. Listen to them. We don't have time to do this. Forget tap out. It's time to step up. Enter number 22, Chris Polk. Running. Spin move across the 15. Nice piece of work there by Polk. But a good night here for Chris Polk. He's going to go a long way putting him on that roster. Savage gets the snap. Here's the rush. Tom drops it off. Caught by Paul across the five. He's in. Touchdown, Houston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautifully designed play for the TD to Chris Polk. Bang, bang, chicken and shrimp gets in the end zone yet again. Nobody has to spell it out. Polk clearly looks roster worthy. We kicking the ass right now. They ain't got a point. We kicking the ass, Lonnie. Good job, D. Good job, defense. Shut out, baby. Keep it up. Shut out wins. Shut out wins. Good job. Final cuts are looming. This is opportunity to make the roster. Some of these guys will never put pads on again. The final 30 minutes of preseason. Everyone wants to look their best. I'm not leaving out of this, I'm not leaving out of this game without a sack. There's no way. Attack, Courtney. Is he gonna chip first? No. He's under pressure. Oh, he's sacked. Oh god! Oh. And Courtney Brown does it again. He's made a play in every 
preseason game. Come underneath upfield, and that's a textbook game of deals by the outside end guy. Brilliant by the Texans. The way to take it up, right? Me game. Tell Christian that was a hell of a game. Hell of a game on Christian. Hell yeah. Good game, man. Damn right, baby. I got Good game. you. I got you. I'm playing. That right side with the media. Courtney Brown is making a most of that opportunity yet again. While Brown seems to have a knack for big plays, easy watch a coup's night is hit or miss. For cornerback Charles James, number 31, what hits there are aren't nearly big enough. Charles James with the coverage. Yeah, but I, I think I, I mean, I'm there. I gotta make a play. Hey, it's coming. James is just five foot nine, which makes playing cornerback very hard. And here's the toss to Johnson, running to the right side. And Johnson has a little seam across the 15, the 10, the 5, and he's in. Touchdown. That bull yeah. He had a clean run down that right side. No edge support whatsoever. Defensive backs are being blocked downfield. Somebody's got to come up there, and you can see one of the defensive backs try to make a play, but he got blocked. The Texans fall in the preseason finale to Dallas, 21 to 14. There's talent in this organization that'll make a cut down to 53 very, very difficult. And there have been years where that's not been the case. So ultimately, we got to cut 21 guys. This is who I want to call 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One of these guys will represent 21, one of these two, but we're not moving on that today, so don't worry about that. You can have him go down and get uh, Corey Moore. Hey, Brandon, Doug West with the Texans. We'll plus one. Okay. Knicks. Okay. That was a third round peak a year ago. A year ago? God, this is crazy. And if you don't know, now you know. Jack. Jack, this. Wow. Is... Hey, let me call him, man. Yeah, call him. So, this is kind of your first experience, you know, with this in pro football. And so, we're going to release you today, okay? Um, I think it started off pretty decent. You know, I think as time went on, it kind of leveled off, you know, and I think moving forward for you, my, my advice, and you can take it or leave it, but my advice to you would be, all right, I'm going to really strive to take the things that I learned here and really try to be a more consistent guy day in and day out. Because I think if you can get to that point in your head, you, you have a chance because you've got physical skills. But in order to, to, to get to where you need to, where you want to get to, it's got to keep going this way. It, can never, it can't be like this. You know what I mean? It can't be up and down. Yes. But I think that you have a future, okay? And I think that if you put your mind to it and say, I'm going to do this and take the things you learned, you never know. You may end up back here 
or you may end up somewhere else. Like, just remember what you learned here and try to try to improve every day. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, look! Don't look at me. Don't look! Don't look at me, Glenn. Hey, Courtney. Doug West at the Texans. Hey, I need you to come over to the stadium. Three sacks and a defensive touchdown this preseason give Courtney Brown hope of making the team. But having been cut six times since 2012 gives him an uneasy feeling. Hey, man. Have a seat, bro. How you, uh, how you hanging with this? Not good. So, so what I will tell you, Courtney, is this, man. I, I, I mean, you, you put it out there this year, okay? I know that this is infinitely more difficult than anybody can understand because of how much you put into it and how many times you've been sitting in this seat and in this situation. But the only thing I can do is try to encourage you, man, because you did a, you did a good job this, this summer. You did. It, it, was it good enough for this situation? No, but that doesn't mean it is not going to be for another situation, okay? That's what I would tell you, okay? And I, and I know it's disappointing, and I know you, you, know, you, you fought your ass off, and I commend you for that and, and, and applaud you for that, and I just try to encourage you to keep, keep your head up, okay? All right, bro. I appreciate you, man. You need something, you let me know, okay? It's a very different profession than any normal profession out there. Yes, it's one that requires mental toughness, competitiveness, like every, every single day you got to bring it. How did you feel you did in training camp? Um, I felt from like from day one, I felt like I was improving, you yeah. know, since, you know, I've, I've, there was a couple things I felt like I could have definitely been, you know, getting better on since rookie camp. But, uh, you know, I felt like I was progressing with the positions I was playing. Yeah. From day one, what I've seen with you is that you're an extremely hard worker and you have a really good skill set for what we're trying to do. And that's why you made it. I want to say thank you. And yeah. I mean, the, I mean, I just know right, I know right now the real work is the, the real work now begins. Yeah, it's ahead of you, but but you've you've earned the right to be here. All right, man. Good. Appreciate you coming up. Appreciate you, Coach. I'll see you uh, Monday, okay? Yes, sir. Doug West at the Texans. Hey, Coach O'Brien would like to see you in his office if you can come over to the stadium. All right, we'll see you soon. It's crazy, like, you've been playing with these guys for so long, man. I don't know, like, when you, when you get the call, you try to stay positive, but when Doug West gets on the phone, it's usually never a good thing. See, we're going to release you easy. You know, this was it was a very competitive position, you know, and I think you, you in the time that we've worked with you, you've really improved. You know, you really have. To the level of, of what I'm looking for, probably not. I'm going to go with some other players right now. I think that in the end, easy, your work ethic and your personality and your demeanor and your mentality is a fit for us. But your route running, it's a little bit more for a different type of offensive system. 
you know, they're looking for a guy that's just a freaking straight line speed guy that's going to run, you know, go route, post route, slant route. But for me, I've, I've got to get a guy that can, you know, run the gamut of routes, all of them, a little bit better than you. And that's, that's really what it came down to for me. Yeah, I appreciate everything, though. Um, I was hoping it would work out, but I mean... It was a very difficult decision. All these decisions are hard. Not that that makes you feel any better, but you worked your ass off. And I think you, you still have a future. I really do. I wouldn't give this thing up. So, tough decision, and, and I know you, you, you don't agree with it, but, you know, it's just kind of the nature of the deal. That's the direction I went. Okay. Okay. Any, any questions? No. no, no okay. Questions, but... All right, man. Well, I appreciate all your work, Easy. I really do. I uh, appreciate you. Okay, man. I think Rick's going to grab you here after okay. me. Yep. Devastated, I think, would be a good word. I thought it would go in a different way, but it didn't. I've stayed here for the past three years, so just being with them, you know, for so long and making relationships, it's become family. That would be the thing that I'm gonna miss the most. But I laid it all out on the field, so no regrets. safe until we play Kansas City. Won't blow me. And even then, you still ain't safe. You know how this go. So. You never say. You never say. It really is a dead heat between Bull and James. <laughs> I think that's legit. I'm yeah. thinking more James now. Just because of that special teams, he does add some juice to special teams. Although, like you said, maybe some of that lack of length will show up there too. Mm -hmm. It's got more of a chance to show up on defense. He's, he is a quicker twitch athlete, and I mean, I like. I, I, my, I had to change. He he earned the right to be on the team. If he makes, if he's on, he's on, and he he'll go contribute hopefully. And you know, the other guys just longer, better. The other guys are better DB. The other guys are better defensive back. We can only keep fifty three. So some guys that admit that that earn the right to be on the team may not make the team. The other thing about James is he's a more versatile player because he could play. I know it's you know it would be an emergency, but he could play running back. He has right. returned punts. Right, right. So if we trade role, it all takes care of itself because mm -hmm. James is on the team. Mm -hmm. Then we got to make that decision. Right, so we right. have until what three o'clock? Yeah. You know, every it's dead every, heat. every good point I make on Charles, you can make on role. It's a dead heat. Let's go with the length. Exactly. Let's go with what right. we've what right. we've set out to do. Yep. Get faster, but also get longer. No, I think it's a great plan. If it comes down to the two of them, it's roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Thanks. Running back Chris Polk has learned his fate, too. He shares the news with his first ever coach. Hey, what am I doing? Hi, red boy. It's official. Well, so you know what? God is good. Every time you touch that ball, those are pins, you the bowling ball. And don't go down easy like a girl either. You better fall forward and bow. Next time they touch you, they'll be like this. Yeah. That's a given. You know that, yeah. Mom. Listen, I'll be there next week, okay? Well, the fun, that's where the fun begins this week. Mm. Look what I did. <laughs> what? Bang bang, bang, bang. Chicken and shrimp. She got the t shirts. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> love you. I love you too. Season opener today at home. I'm looking forward to coming back as an old and cheering them on. It's going to be a great day. What's up with you? <laughs> Have you heard? I'm in. Full I'm in. squad? Yeah, I'm in. The three. You made the 53? Yeah. He played for us last year, and now he's with the Houston Texans. He plays right by, he plays right by JJ Watt. Can I hug you? <laughs> All hugs are welcome. Can I hug you? Oh. 
I'll never forget what this program has done for me. You know, what I was able to achieve here at Rice. You know, I'm living my dream right now. It, it turned out for the best. I'm looking forward to the journey that still lies ahead. Congratulations. Appreciate you. Look forward to covering you. Man. Thank you, sir. Not every player's journey is a straight line from college to the pros. For undrafted free agents like Charles James, the road is often crooked. Rick. Hey, man. Hey, hey. I, I, I heard back from the team. That there's not a deal to be made, man. Okay. So, and I, I think okay. I think we had the right thought process. I think the right thing to do is, <clears throat> is to cut Charles. But I just wanted you to know that I just heard back from him. We're good. Okay. Okay. Thanks, right. man. Yep. Yep. Bye. Hey, Charles. Hey, it's Glenn Fife with the Houston Texans. Okay. Hey, I need you to come in whenever you get a chance. Rick and OB want to see you. Okay. This, this is going to be a tough one because this kid, he gave us everything he had. Mm, yeah. Yeah. This is truly one about timing and fit, because at a different time, he would have made a team, you know? And, and it was, you know, obviously this thing came down to the wire here. You know, it was a very, very difficult decision because of really how you play, you know. Off the top, I'll tell you, we really like to try to get you back on the practice squad. I don't know if that'll be possible because somebody may come in there and, and, and grab you because you did play well. You know, you did play well. I think in the end, for me, what ended up happening was in the Dallas game, some of your what I would call deficiencies showed up your lack of length. And so sometimes when you're in tight coverage, as the route gets down the field a little bit farther and you have to make a play, it's hard for you, especially against a bigger receiver. So as we go into our division and we're, we're some of the teams that we have to play, we've got some really, you know, obviously top receivers, but also bigger guys that we're gonna have to cover. So really in the end, I went with the fact that, look, I think this guy's gonna struggle as it relates to covering guys that we need to cover. I think on special teams, you did a great job. And I think that, that you, you showed up very well there, and that made it a very difficult decision. I think your energy, everything that you bring to the table, you know, really made it a difficult decision because of the work ethic that you bring and the toughness and all that. But in the end, we decided to go in a different direction, and that's some of the reasons why. Okay. So appreciate all your work. Hopefully Thanks. we can get you back to continue to work with you. The reason that we would do that is because we do see potentially a future here. And we also would have a guy there that if we, you know, if we needed to, we could bring up on game day, you know, down the road here during the season. So hopefully that works out. We can get you back here and keep working with you. Okay. All right? All right. Okay, man. Thanks, Charles. I appreciate appreciate really your work, man. NFL, it doesn't get much tougher than final cuts. The teams are always looking for talent. And a day later, Courtney Brown is signed by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, thanks in part to the tough love given him by linebacker coach Mike Vrabel. Oh, man, um, camp here was, was great. Coach Vrabel, he's a great man. He's a good coach and smart. You know, when I came here, he, 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 he taught me a lot more about the game that I really ever knew you know and one of the biggest things that I'm going to take from him that he always told me was finish every play finish every play I, I can hear him you know right now and I'm just so thankful that Jersey. they give me another opportunity to play football and I'm just excited man I, <laughs> I'm excited I'm really excited 
That same day, receiver EZ Wachiku gets a call to play for the Miami Dolphins. Turns out keeping your bags packed and phone handy is good policy for players with style. The Texans wanted to sign me back to the practice squad, but of course I was weighing all my other options. My agent called me and he told me, uh, the Ravens want you down in Baltimore. You know, for me it was like, shoot man, I want to go start a fresh start, so, you know, I'm gone. You know, I've heard a lot of que questions, do I feel like I should have made the team? Yes. Just to answer the question, yes. You know, it, it hurts, but at the same time, you got to understand it's the nature of the business and especially in my situation. That's it. You know, coming in as an undrafted free agent, it's hard every day. Uh, my time here was good. I uh, wish I could have stayed longer. The fans here are incredible. Uh, they jumped on the happy sauce train early, and I'm still going to rock them when I get down to Baltimore because that's a part of me for life. This is Rick Smith, man. How are you? I'm doing good. All right. I got these socks here that I was gonna give you, man. I don't know what to do with these damn things, man. I guess I'm gonna have to wear them myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate the opportunity y'all gave me to compete, man. That's all that I asked for. I appreciate it. Well, listen, go do you, okay? And I'm gonna wish you well, and and uh, and we'll be watching, man, okay? Rosters aren't forever. Give it a smack towards me. Move it uh, on its line. NFL teams are always right a work in progress. The Texans now have a team brazed in the Houston heat. Good. Built tough. Built in the image of their head coach. And in the end, the only thing Bill O'Brien ever asked for was for his team to compete. He's got a roster to do at least that much. With a little luck, maybe even more. The philosophy of our organization as it comes to the 53-man roster is that you have to work every day, every single day, to continue to earn your spot on the team. Every day. Every day we come in here, it's all about winning. We walk into the building and we say, how are we gonna get better today? To help the team get better. It's all about the team. When you get those 53 guys coming together, forming and bonding a team, you know, a brotherhood, that's what it's all about. The excitement as a veteran right now is more like a rookie wanting to get on the field. This is going to be a dream come true. I've been working for this my whole life, and it's, it's finally going to happen. That's a tough team. We're not going to back down to anyone. We all look around and realize we're playing for each other. And I think when you have a group of guys that are willing to do that, the sky's the limit. I believe we have a team full of guys who are going to work their ass off every single day with the belief that they will not be stopped. Every single day, you've got to show up in the building in the most competitive business in the world, the National Football League, and you've got to compete, you've got to be alert in the meetings, you've got to understand what we're trying to do, you've got to understand your role, and you've got to earn it every day.